like, yo, yo, what's good with y'all? What's good with y'all? It's Harold on the track. We here with another video. This time around, though, we're gonna go over what has happened to the music industry and why it is the way that it is today. I'm gonna do my best to cover the some topics that I want to cover. One of them being like how this industry has just been caperoni, bro. Like they are SMs losing just about everything. And I'm gonna show you like the best example from like what's been going on right now. Uh, let me see if I can get the window up. Guy right here. Evan Mega apparently is an AI rapper who's out here wilding out saying N-word over and over again, being all super stereotypical capital records apparently signed to an AI rapper album. I was like, yeah, whatever. But then the funny thing, I should I should open this up on Twitter. Apparently he's been going big on like social media. IG, TikTok and shit, but you go in here, right? Dog. Do I see this? But he, but this is a big deal, right? This is a big deal. For men don't even have 700 followers on Twitter. Cap, SM Zeus, AI generated comments, AI generated likes, AI generated listens, AI generated streams. Don't nobody care, bro. Don't nobody care, bro. Another one that popped up. <laughs> Hold up, pause that. Lil Pump in Japan. And nobody knew who he was. Nobody knew who he was. And he's apparently a mega superstar. Allegedly. He's a mega superstar. Allegedly. But he can go around in Japan freely with nobody paying attention to him. Like, what is that about? Say if somebody from like Backstreet Boys or some shit was walking around in the streets of Japan or here in Denmark or whatever, they would be jumped, bro. And here you have Lil Pump in the street of Japan. Nobody knows him. So was the fame actually real? Chance of Susan was done here. That is another thing that I have noticed. Tracks these days don't stay relevant for more than a week. That new Drake album that dropped. When did it drop? Was it two months ago now? Yeah, it might have been like two months ago actually. Already. That shit lasted for like a week and then it was out. Nobody paid attention to it. And honestly, I don't blame him. Because that album was trash. To be honest with you. But what has happened? The energy is just off. I can also feel when I go outside. There's a collective burnout. Going on. We are in a transitional period right now. And if. The whole economical. Whatever that's going to be happening. Is said to be happening next year. So this is at least going to stay like this until 2024, 2025. If it is as I think it is, or with the data that I've collected and what I heard. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to dive into that too much. I don't want to dive into that too much. I find it... I find it kind of scary how we got all the tools in the world to make great music when it comes to creating music we got skill we got what is it called oh i forgot the name of it easy keys my bad easy keys oh my god we got captain plugins exo drums melodyne but then we got ozone to help you master the track we got we got everything that you could possibly need to create dope tracks. But then it's like the quality of the music just gone down. And if you notice, everything just kind of sound like 
the same, really. But I mean, there's only 12 notes in the scale, right? 7 right, 5 flat. There's only so much you can do, right? But still, it's not hitting like it used to. Where's the Michael Jacksons? The Britney Spears, the Britney Houstons, the Justin Timberlakes. They're not showing. Now we got Justin Bieber's Lady Gaga. Like, come on, man. This is not it. We gotta do better than this. Also, for rap music, that's. As I got there, I'm smash my head on my microphone. Let's talk about rap music real quick. A lot of this stuff ain't hitting right. I don't walk around listening to none of this new stuff. The only the only one I will listen to is uh, what's it? SG and um, Kevin Gates, really. But so it's just like, nah, like there's nothing there. Even even SG's uh, SG's music gets kind of stale because he puts out the same track over and over and over again, and I guess it works. For whatever dynamic he's trying to reach but again like it's just how do you end up with the same track a hundred times i mean there's there's always going to be an element of similarities in an artist track record which between the tracks but i'm like the drums sound the same the melody sounds the same vocals st sound the same Almost like you're recycling bars too. Other tracks and just putting them in the new one. Which actually will not surprise me if that's the case. If a lot of these new rappers do that. Even even the old ones. But I don't know. There's something that I can't put my finger on it. There's something there that I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the chat. Or oh, in the... I think I'm fucking live, bro. Why do I think I'm fucking live? Let me know in the comments below. If you feel like something is off, like a whole dog. The talent machine has broken, bro. It's broken. The fact that we have this guy being pushed or attempted to be pushed. Now they have dropped him, apparently. Now Capital Records have dropped him because of the backlash that he received. But I don't know. No. Apparently, apparently he got signed last year, but nobody knew about him. About it. Like absolutely no one. No one knew about it. Currently has more than 500,000 500, monthly Spotify subscribers <laughs> and 1 billion views on this TikTok account, which are all bots too, by the way. But we just broke it down that this guy don't even have 700 followers on Twitter. Give me a break, man. Yeah, this, this is Cap too. 220,000 followers on Instagram. That's Cap too. It ain't real, bro. None of this shit real. All generated. And it doesn't make sense. Because how would the record label be making money from doing this? They spent money to, 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 to artificially inflate the numbers. Hashtag loop. <laughs> Shout out to MG the Future, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna rent this shit from him. But how do you, how do you, how do you gain from this? I don't understand this shit, bro. How, how, how do you actually gain from that, from doing that? I mean, inflating numbers is not a new thing either. Apparently, I think JC said in an interview that he used to buy his own records. I think also Michael Jackson said that. Oh, it's well known that they buy their own tracks or people within the record labels buy tracks, buy their albums, buy CDs in like huge stocks, like by the thousands. But so that it was never like, it was always like this, but now the the cap is getting to a level where it's like uncontrollable. Like, how desperate are you that you are actually artificially creating a rapper? This shit is wild to me. Let me know what you what what you think in the comments. This is wild.
Like there isn't anyone. They haven't been able to find anyone to sign. Either that or they run out of money to sign an actual human. So instead they just created a AI robot. Because the process is simple and easier. Like that. And then try and make it like an NFT, whatever. Try and cater towards that. Which has failed miserably. Failed big time, bro. It failed. It has failed. And so will all the other. So will NFTs. We already know the Facebook metaverse has failed. Got no interest whatsoever. Nobody's interested in that. They're not interested. The people that said no. So what are we doing here? Transitional period then. Shit is a bit slow at the moment. We are in the middle of triple inflation. People ain't got the money to spend either. To promote themselves. So yeah. It is what it is, man. This is a shame for someone who enjoys and enjoys good music. That we don't really get anything. But then it's it's good that we have the old stuff to listen to. Which actually brings me on to the topic of lazy sampling. It was this one. It was this snippet. It, it showed up on my radar all of a sudden. I'm subscribed to this uh, page. Oh, I'm subscribed here as well. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm subscribed to this page. And then I see the title, Am I Wrong? And then I thought about that, Am I Wrong? Basically just stole the chords and then put some drill drums on it. Lazy sampling. And also like I s all this shit that I've been thinking about sampling has all of a sudden got sampled all at once. What the fuck? fuck is that about bro all this shit that that i want that i want to, uh, to to sample my damn self and somebody else comes along and samples it i'm like i'm done bro there was a song from this group outlandish called Wero. outlandish is what the group is called i was thinking about sampling that that all of a sudden the other day on tiktok i scroll through someone else sampled it but there was another song too, which I forget now what it's called. The only thing I need is for that other song that I'm looking to sample, to try and sample at least, ends up getting resampled or sampled. <laughs> another Danish song. I'm like, y'all can have it. There's something else at play here. Everybody gets the same idea at the same damn time. Whatever, now I'm going off on, um, on the other side. I'm gonna leave it here, man. I'm gonna leave it here. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this. It will change again. It's just, what is it, law of rhythm? A bit of a downhill slope, actually. I, it's evening out a little bit because it can't go much further down than this. So yeah, man. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.